click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, I'm talking about Edisol. Edisol is nothing but an aryl alkyl ether and let me talk about the reactions that could be exhibited by the Edisol. So now let's get started. So friends, in this topic, we are going to talk about the reactions of any soul and that is nothing but bromination, nitration as well as free craft, alkylation and acylation. So now let me talk about the first one that is what happens if any soul undergoes through a bromination reaction. So now let me talk about the first reaction that is bromination. So this is the anisol and that is being treated with that is bromine molecule and that also in presence of an acidic acid medium. So in this case, we understand that is the benzene consists of the ortho hydrogen as well as the para hydrogen so that's the reason that one of the hydrogen it will be moved along with that of the bromine atom in the form of hbr while rest of the bromine atom it will attach on the ortho position thereby we'll get basically an ortho product and one of the bromine there is another possibility also that is one of the bromine that will attack this hydrogen that is present at the para position and in the form of hbr it will be removed as a byproduct while the rest of the bromine it will attach on this para position only so therefore we could get a mixture of product out of which one product will be the major product and the other will be the minor product so let me talk about the name of this one so this is the product that has been formed and the name of this is because as we see that is and the bromine is attached on the ortho position so therefore the name of this is basically o bromo anisole that is ortho bromo anisole and this is nothing but p bromo anisole which is also known as para bromo anisole but out of which the possibility of formation or the quantity where the product which will be more compared to that of other one is nothing but the para bromo anisole so therefore this is nothing but a major product that we will obtain whenever we say anisole is being treated with bromine molecule and that also in acidic acid medium so this is one of the reaction that is bromination reaction that i was talking about and now let me talk about the another reaction so the another reaction is nitration reaction suppose if we have considered that is anisole and that is what i am writing over here suppose if anisole is being treated with nitric acid and obviously this is a nitration reaction and obviously we have to consider that is concentrated hno3 along with that of that is concentrated h2so4 the reason behind that is we are using h2so4 because h2so4 is a very good dehydrating agent and in this reaction basically the h2 molecule it will be removed off so the reaction is similar to compare to that of the previous one that is it consists of ortho hydrogen as well as para hydrogen that is i'm talking about any soul so here i have to write that is och3 i have just written uh, by mistakenly here so now suppose if this any soul is being treated with concentrated hno3 in presence of that is concentrated h2so4 then the product that we could get is a mixture of that is what we could get here as i will write it over here as och3 because it is present as it is while this hydrogen it will be removed out in the form of h2o and whenever it will react with HONO2 so that's the reason that here basically NO2 it will get attached while the rest of the product that is H2O it will be removed as a byproduct so this is an ortho product that is what we have got over here but there is another possibility because the para hydrogen is also present over here so therefore the HO group of the HNO3 it will be very much helpful to remove this hydrogen atom and thereby basically we could get a para product and that is how basically the para product that is what we could get has a structure of that is OCH3 and this is nothing but NO2 and the byproduct will be nothing but it will be water molecule so let me name the product that is what we have obtained over here so therefore the mixture of product that is what we could obtain whenever basically an anisole reaction is undergoing through a nitration process so therefore this is the product that is what we have got and the name of this is o nitro anisole and the name of this product is nothing but p nitro anisole which is nothing but para nitro anisole but in this case the major product that is what we could get is nothing but a para nitro anisole so therefore this is the major product and this is the minor product so this was the reaction or that is the nitration reaction on the anisole and now let me move towards the next one so the next reaction is friedel craft alkylation it is a simple reaction and that is what we have discussed in our previous chapters also let us suppose if anisole is been treated with that is methyl chloride that is ch3cl and that also in presence of that is anhydrous alcl3 and cs2 obviously there will be two product that is what we could get and this is nothing known as methylation of any soul so therefore the product that is what we could get is nothing but there will be two possible products that is on the ortho position there will be a methyl group that would be attached and on the para product or on the para position i would say 
methyl group that would be attached so therefore we could get that is two product one is the ortho product and one is the para product and the rest of the byproduct it will be removed in the form of hcl so these are the two possible products that is what we have obtained over here and now let me discuss about the name for the product and talk about this one so this is the carbon number one while this is carbon number two so therefore we could name it as that is so we'll get two methoxy toluene and this is the product that is what we will get that is this one will be carbon number one this is carbon number two three and this is four so therefore the name of this product is four methoxy toluene so the major product that is what we could get is nothing but the 4 methoxytoluene so this is the major product and the rest of the thing is the minor product so this was nothing but the alkylation of uh, that is any soul and now let's go to the next one that is Friedel-Craft acylation so friends now we are going to talk about Friedel-Craft acylation so in this case basically we are considering an any soul that is this one and if we are reacting it with that is acetyl chloride or we could also call it as CH3, C double bond O, Cl, and that also in presence of anhydrous AlCl3. So, therefore, the product that we could get is nothing but it would be an ortho product as well as it would be a major product. That is what we could get, that is a para product. So, here basically, one of the hydrogen atom that is of ortho hydrogen atom that will be moved along with this Cl, and that is the reason that we could get HCl as a byproduct. But the rest of the thing that is what we could get is CO, CH3. So this is an ortho product. While talking about the rest of the other product, that is what we could get is here we'll get OCH3, which is present as it is. While here basically on the para position, we could get C double bond O CH3. So this is the product that we will get. But talking about which one would be the major product. But before going to that, let me give you the name of the product that is what we could get. So in this case, basically here we can say that is this is nothing but acetophenone. But on the second position, we can find that is a methoxy group that has been attached to it. So that's the reason the name of this is 2-methoxy acetophenone. While this is nothing but 4-methoxy acetophenone. So in this case, the major product that is what we could get is a para product. So therefore, this is a para product and this is nothing but a major product that is what we could get. And that's it. So this was related to the reactions of any soul and that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood the reactions related to the any soul and I hope I'll see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.